my third year in Latin and my second term in Tonengo. But this is the first time that the whole community is called for this kind of interaction with youth. And I'm so happy to be with you all. And I'm very happy and grateful to Father Casey James, our parish priest, for organizing this uh, youth program and inviting all of us. We are given, sisters are given, not given exaltation, but only to see our observances and our experience. And my three years here, I, to be honest, uh, frankly speaking, there is no experience as such, because this is the first time we are uh, invited and we are with you like this. Of course, in the first year, I was called for a talk during the National Youth Sunday, National Youth Day, and this is the second time. So we are given only 15 minutes. I just want to give a, one observation. Romais are known for their beauty, for their talent, for their smartness, and for their creativity. And just giving an example from my parish, I come from Mount Carmel Parish, Dimapur, and we have a mixture of people there, Lokha, Semas, Adivasis, and Romais, and we Nagas from Nagaland, especially the Lokha, Semar, uh, the Zangamis, we take pride because we are the major tribes. And we also take pride because we hold so many positions in the state, because of that, we take pride. But, frankly speaking, for Catholics, local Catholics are new, very new in faith, and particularly the youth, especially my parents. We are nowhere. Same as also, in few, but we have a good number of uh, locals there, but we are very, very poor. But there, the Romans are very, very smart, very creative, and very talented, always at the for, forefront. Anything, if there is competition, they will be there, they will always be in the prize. Any work is there, they are always there, they come forward, and they are always there. Then for morning mass, many Romans used to come. Many, many Romans, 6.30 is the mass, many Romans are coming. And we people, of course, slowly we are catching up. So that's why I said, Romans in general are, okay, they are considered as very beautiful, very handsome, very smart, talented. And I see that in you all, okay, I see that in you all. And I'm, I'm very proud and I'm very happy to say that you are very, very active. Especially I want to think for one thing, uh, summer by the camp. I have not seen that in any other places where I've worked. I have worked with Kasis, you know, Tamaras, I have worked with Karbis, I have worked with Zemais uh, and Yamais, like that. I have worked in many places. But I have seen over here youth taking active participation, especially in summer life. Because of your active participation, the children are so happy they have gained a lot. And there is so, uh, the uh, summer Bible camp is so vibrant, I should say, I should say, because I have visited many uh, villages, and I am very, very happy. So, if this vibrancy can be seen every day, how nice it will be. How nice our church will grow. The vibrancy of yours can be seen especially only on summer Bible camp. Don't do that. Since I'm asked to say my observance, I'm just telling. So, the summer Bible camp, you are very vibrant, very, very well, very well, we are, very well we are doing it. I'm very happy with that. But if that could be seen even on other ordinary Sundays, how nice it would be. How nice our church would be. More and more people will come. More and more children will, will come. More and more youth will come. And it will become very, very active. So, uh, 
You know our parish here is a mother church, many churches, and if we are youth, if we are not a role model, then to whom will they look? Being a mother church, we have to be the role model so that they can look up to us, so, can, so that they can also take from us some good practices of our parish here. That's how we can be the good role model to the other small churches. Um, we need to be more supportive, more cooperative, and more sacrificing for our common cause. See, example, I just want to give you one example. In the first year of my state year, uh, our province had conducted or organized, I should say, organized a singing, a gospel signal competition, online gospel signal competition. And we had given out the invitation to our parish also, but there was no positive response. So that shows that we are not very cooperative. Of course, it was a little sudden, but since it was online, we don't need to spend a lot of time, go to Dumapur and have a conversation. No, it was online. You could have just uh, sang all together, people, and sang together, and just click the video and send. That was the only thing. But uh, we were a little bit uh, discouraged. Our communities were a little bit discouraged because we thought we would get a positive reply, but there was no positive reply from you all. Then it was very easy. We don't need to come together. If it, it was not possible for all of you to come together, at least one village could have taken up. That was what we thought and expected from you. So just so if there was a little bit of cooperation, if it, there was a little bit of support from others, and um, if there was a little bit of sacrifice from your part, that would have been done. I'm just giving you an example, okay? There are so many things. So one thing, now we are having a meeting here. The invitation was given out to all, but you see, some of every uh, all of somebody will think, oh, I don't need to go, I have some work, others will come. Then the other fellows will think the same way. So all of us think the same way, and in the end, nobody will turn out. That's what many of us think, and many of us do not turn out. Actually, the hall is supposed to be full because our parish is not small, our parish is very big. We cannot expect people to come from far away villages, but at least those who are from nearby, if many could participate, it would have been better. We know you are the pillar of the church, and if you are dead, if we are dead, how can the church grow? We have to be alive. We have to be alive. Okay? We have to be alive. We have to actively participate. And Pope Francis, Father has already mentioned something about Pope Francis, but he said that for uh, you. And I also would also like to say what Pope Francis has said. I just want to mention three things. He said, you are the agents of change. You are very important for the church present and for, uh, for the church future. Through our energy, energetic way of life, through our creative way, through our freshness, through our creative ideas, we can become the agents of change in the society, in our church, and in our parish. Then the second point is he urges the young people to live our faith, our Catholic faith, lightly. Not only within the church, but every day of our life. Every day of our life would mean living the, our faith through the works of or the acts of charity, through doing services, or through protection of the environment. For example, today, our school, we organized a social work to go to the hospital, district hospital, and we did two hours of social work there. Likewise, we youth also can do that acts of charity or service. We can go and do some social work for a day or for a few hours, like in a hospital or in the school or in the, in the street or in the market, we can do that. Or we can also go and visit some elderly people, some old, uh, old people, those who are not able, those who are staying alone, those who are not able to look after, clean their own house. Why don't we uh, make a day, a program to go and clean their house one day, take bath for them, 
like that. We can do kind of service acts of charity or service. Then the other one is, third one is, challenges young people to be missionary disciple. Missionary disciple would mean share faith with others and live the gospel values. So basing on these three points that I said, I would like to give two, three suggestions since we are also asked to give suggestions. So, I would like to give two or three suggestions. One is, if along with the office bearers, if a father and a sister is also appointed, or what shall I say, appointed as a coordinator, it would be very, very good so that they can also help you out. Or if you have any doubt, you can also ask their help or guidance. Then the second one would be gospel tour, to different villages. Because the Pope Francis says, be a missionary disciple. Share your faith with others. Share the gospel values with others. So as a youth, we can also go to different villages, especially the villages that are far off, where they are not able to come, where they don't have the access, access to come to our parish. We can go and visit them. We can see the situation. We can go and pray along with them. The gospel to our then that time the youth themselves can preach, they themselves can give a talk, exhortation if needed, the father and the sister also can help. Then the third one would be fundraise. Why do I say fundraise? Because I was surprised when we had a um, pastoral council meeting last month, when you were saying that we don't have money, we don't have money. So I was surprised to hear because other places they used to use have fun. And with that fund, they used to organize so many things. They don't depend much on the parish, of course. The parish will come. If it is needed, the parish will always help. But they always, they are self-sufficient. But here I was surprised to hear that they have fun. So it would be very good if you have fundraise at least twice in a year. Or you can have more than that. Fundraise can be, depend on so you know how to raise the fund. So it will be very, very helpful for you. Always depending on the parish. Our parish is also supposed to be very rich, but our parish is very poor. Because the contribution from the different villages are quite poor. So we ourselves, instead of depending on the parish, we ourselves, if we can work, then it will be very good. Thank you for the patience. Thank you, Sister, for encouraging us to be more active and cooperate with each other. And we are grateful for the opportunity to learn from your experiences and thoughts. We'll try our best to be more active in every walk of our life. And thank you so much for your valuable suggestions. And next we have Father Moses, our administrator.